I think Andor is the best thing on TV. And I just want to talk uh, just a touch about uh, your work on Andor, if you don't mind. Of course. I definitely want to know. I mean, you got to direct a number three, I believe three episodes on Andor. You got to do the finale. What was it like being part of a show like that, which is so beloved by so many people? That is great. But but obviously that's happened after we made it. But, uh, you know, at the time, there wasn't really a lot of, it didn't seem like there was a lot of heat on Andor. It felt that it was slightly, um, you know, it was just uh, uh, undercover and that this massive show was being made in Pinewood, but that people had somehow forgotten about it. And you have to bear in mind, I am not um, I am not the biggest Star Wars fan. And I, and I, and I don't mean that in any sort of um, uh, mean way. I just mean, I, I, from a kid I was, but I sort of, I just maybe fell out of love with it, or I sort of hadn't followed it sort of as I, um, in my later years. So and I and I declared that to Tony really early on. I said, "Look, Tony, I, I, if you if you want, is this a question about sort of um, what's been going on in Star Wars recently? I, I have no idea. I mean, look, I'll happily go and watch uh, the last few films, but I I haven't seen them. And he was like, "No, that's great. We don't want, we don't want fan service. We want uh, you know. I, I've deliberately seen you know. I, I I'm aware of your work and I and I like your work and I want that work in." In Andor, and so um, so that that's how it came about. And I responded to his writing. You know, he, he, I I hadn't I hadn't I hadn't read I hadn't read anything like that for for a long time. And I sort of forgot that I genuinely forgot that it was Star Wars. You know, there were no you know there was no lightsabers, there was no Darth Vader, there was none of the Force. It was just really well drawn out um, narratives and great characters that I just wanted to spend time with. And that that's as a director or me personally, that's that's what I respond to. And I guess that's where it all started. And then when we were filming, I mean, you know, I just approach it like anything else I do. You know, just. You direct it. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I think that's the reason why Andor is so good is because you could it could be if you took the Star Wars out of it, it would still be an amazing show. Do you know what it is? I mean, we should move on sharper, but I just really, for me, it was a spy thriller. It was a thriller. And I guess, look, you know, you know, Tony Gilroy. I mean, I love Bourne and I love my, but it was a spy thriller. And I, and I thought that is, I could, that's what I lent into. Yes, it was in the Star Wars universe, but it was a spy thriller. And so I lent into that, um, you know, that, that kind of tone and mood. <laughs> <laughs> 